Hi friends, in Planet Earth Dating it's Friday, February 5th, 2016. Ra and Luce here in the Lynn Life, Jack in the Jenny Body Mind, other teammates in other dimensions, most of us in the subatomic, and most of us in the physical. We all agree that physical bodies are beautiful bringers of messages. This body has been reflecting a certain pattern of messages for many weeks now and it does not appear to apply to any of the members of the Search for Truth community, but we could be wrong. For the past eight years, this body has shown only signals of the status of the project to manifest the divine plan. So that is actually our working theory, that these are some important messages to do with the overall effort. And therefore, we're going to hold as our intention to heal the root causes of these symptoms and whatever they represent in such a way as to manifest the divine plan. And with that, the videoed portions of today's efforts begin. Restating the intention to heal the root causes of problems in the physical bodies, teeth, gums, bones around teeth, and to heal the root causes of the band of tension during sleep from the forehead to the mid-chest and whatever these symptoms represent in such a way as to manifest the divine plan. There, I feel like we're in someone's office and it's a very big office. I feel very small in a very large chair. And this person is saying something like, what do you know? What I know is that physical bodies are bringers of messages, at least in the physical experiences of these lives and in this team, that when we work to discern the meaning of a message for a, a long period of time and the message doesn't become clear, that generally means the message isn't actually for us, it's for somebody else who's using us as a way to communicate and often it, it actually doesn't have to do with us. And then the question becomes finding the person his message is for and delivering the message and then the symptom goes away. And this person is nodding. And I don't think you want me to say this, but what I also know is that this is indicative of a larger problem of misuse of resources that are valuable and rare. Uh, in a way that doesn't actually make any sense and shows that something is really wrong in the structure of the way that the communication system is set up, either without right bad intent or incompetence, or maybe a combination of both. Right, I think you get points off for that answer from this guy, but if you look up, look up. Right, yeah. See that? It's like a red light. Yeah, it did seem to be the right answer, it is though, because that is what I know. That is correct. So first, live streaming up past this guy. Right, ask for another uh, opinion. Ask for another opinion. And I hear someone else, and this person feels like they have something really wrong with their mouth. Yeah. Like really wrong with their mouth. It almost looks like a cartoonish nightmare monster mouth. Yeah. Uh, all the teeth going in lots of different directions and the gums are black and it looks really scary. And the person doesn't feel like a bad person. They just want the problem as they see it to go away. And they're just trying things to make this problem go away. And whatever the problem is, seems to be showing up, manifesting in their experience with these mouth problems that they're having. Yeah. But I don't think they've actually made that connection yet. It's like I'm dealing with this problem and also as a separate issue, my mouth is going crazy. Right. Instead of saying, wait a second, I wonder if this is connected because all of this is going downhill at the same time. Can they hear you? Because this is she what they can. Hear. I, I think you can hear me because I can see you. She's saying like, but that doesn't make sense. They're not connected. How could that be connected? These are two separate things that are happening in my life independently and they happen to be happening at the same time. 
Things are more connected than we think. Things are more connected than we think. And your working theory has been that they're not connected and they're both getting worse. What if you try flipping your working theory and assume that they're actually connected, that they are somehow showing messages about the other situation? Because you haven't had breakthrough looking at it this way, they both seem to be getting worse. She's saying like, okay, well I see how, I see how that could be connected. But if those two things are connected, then there are a lot of other things in my life that are probably connected to that. And well, there are things true. that I don't they want are. to deal with. They are connected. Yeah, that's true. It's all connected. That's true. I can see even like little um, spider, spider web webs. lines yeah. in between them. That's true. They are all connected. Just what start now? pulling on the spider web. Yeah. Just start pulling. We just start pulling on the spider web. There are some spider webs that she really wants to hold on to. It's like, oh no, but not that one. It's like, well, the others need to go, but not that one. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. Pull it out the top of the head. Watching the teeth and the mouth. The gums look better. Like the teeth are still snaggly, but the gums aren't black anymore. They look like pink gums. Pulling out the top of the head. I'm reaching down lower and scooping up the bottoms of them. The bottoms of the spider webs that were connected to all those other little things that aren't even in the conscious awareness. There, it's all connected. Maybe these are her intuitive channels. Maybe you hand them up. That's possible. Hand them up. To the highest concentration of truth and integrity we can connect with right now from this level. And while we're at it, hand up all these channels from those presences at smaller subatomic layers to ours. Are you willing to take all of these and move them up through you and reach up to the highest concentration of truth and integrity you're able to connect with right now and hand all of it up? Are you willing? I feel like that presence is pulling the channels up through them. Yes. She doesn't like how they feel. No, it's, it's because true. Because they're suffering in the subatomic. The That's true. The smaller than us, they're suffering so deeply. That's true. Asha is crying, crying about the suffering in the deep subatomic. That's true. They're in pain. Mm -hmm. Billions of presences, billions upon billions of presences, trillions of presences suffering. That's true. And she really doesn't want to hear this, the big snaggletooth presence. No. She wants to think her problems are, are the worst problems. Else's. That's true. That's mm, true. But it isn't the case. No. And how fantastic that you're not actually suffering the worst of everyone. Well, now she's really upset. That's she true. She wants to stomp away. That's true. She really liked defining herself that way as the worst, the one who the worst things happen to. Mm -hmm. Try and see what she gets out of it. it has to be shown. Um, well, it could be an excuse to not do anything scary or big or to help others. Right. If you wanted to avoid helping other people, right. you would always put yourself in the place of the person needing to be helped. Right. And if then completely selfish. Oh, that's true. And then you would always be able to say, well, I couldn't have helped that person because so much bad stuff was happening to me that there was nothing I could do about it. It's a fig leaf for selfishness. Right. Got it. Snaggletooth lady might have stomped away. <laughs> I think we can take it. I think the that's what's thing. happened because I don't feel her anymore. Reach up. But that's all right there. because we already made the connection up. So we just go up. We merge. And we just go up. Now I feel a much more expansive space. It's very large. And it kind of has the feeling of like if someone <laughs> was sketching what a dentist's office would look like in the traditional idea of heaven, if that makes any sense. It's like a very large, very ornate 
and a dentist's office, but there are no dental chairs and no dental tools. It's all kind of vague and unspecific. But it smells like a dentist's office. And there are people moving around who look very professional, um, very uh, sure of themselves. But I don't actually feel any patience. It just feels like a lot of dentists walking around feeling sure of themselves. Yes. With no patience. Not actually doing anything. No, and there aren't even chairs for patients, and there aren't even examination tools. No. It's like all the trappings of a dentist's office without any of the useful materials, including the patients. They're not actually helping. No. Hello. We're here to heal the root causes of physical symptoms of really real problems in the teeth and the gums and the bones of the mouth. And there's also a band of tension in during sleep time between the forehead and the top of the chest. And we're here to heal the root causes of those symptoms and whatever they represent in such a way as to manifest the divine plan. Can you help us? Are you willing? I see three dentists who have kind of stopped in their tracks, like they were all walking kind of aimlessly around the room and these three stopped and like turned. And, and one of them is saying something like, oh, well, you know, I haven't done that in so long. Like, I don't even do root canals anymore. Uh, oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. Oh, I, I don't know. And another one looks really curious. Like she's read a lot about being a dentist. It's like I know the theory very well of how to fix these things, these problems. But I, I don't know what it really feels like to touch gums, real gums, not plastic things. We have these symptoms. And they don't seem to be they for any of us They don't seem to be for any of us. And games theory would say they have to do with your level because we were brought here. So game theory would say this has to do with you. What are you going to do? The second dentist, the one who isn't sure how to actually do it, is stepping forward and kind of it looks like that motion where we open our chest and show our identification of who we actually are. Mm -hmm. It's like she's saying, my intentions are good, and if I mess up, I want you to see right now that it's not because I want to hurt anybody. Mm -hmm. Now, our intention is to do this in such a way as to manifest the divine, the divine plan, plan. That's true. Throughout all dimensions. That's true, the biggest game. Nobody else in this big dentist's office is even stopping to turn around, and I think those other two dentists have wandered off again. Um, but now it feels like we're sitting on one of the like waiting room chairs that were around because there really aren't any dentist chairs here. And she's shining a flashlight and it looks kind of like she's shining a flashlight down. It's kind of like how the things look when they look like big dark pillars. Mm -hmm. And I see the beam of the flashlight moving around the pillar. Mm -hmm, I see that also. And I hear scurrying things. Mm -hmm. Like the beam isn't catching anything, but I can hear the sounds of things moving as the beam comes towards them. Mm -hmm. So there's clearly things in there. Mm -hmm. And the dentist lady is looking more interested. That's not what she expected at all to see. Maybe just try reaching down and pulling out whatever that is. I can do that. So now we're reaching down through that tunnel. And I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom because I would like to not miss anything. I think you're supposed to reach down and find the bottom and pull the whole thing out. But I oh, that could be. Let's give it a go. Merging in. Okay, I can feel that feeling. Reaching the hand down through the tunnel. Oh, and I feel wiggly things on my arms. Right. 
reaching all the way down to the bottom, grabbing the bottom, the base, starting to pull it up through itself, pull the tunnel up through itself. Just hand this up to the highest concentration of truth and integrity we're able to connect with right now. And ask if you're willing to keep pulling it till it's all the way inside out. And now there isn't any tunnel anymore. It's just empty, empty space. 